Welcome to Behind the Blocks, a show in which we take an in-depth look at the mobs of Minecraft. Today, we're doing the slime. The slime is an adamant green gelatinous hopping relatively rare mob that can appear in various sizes. The slime was first implemented in Alpha 1.0.11, also known as Secret Friday Update 6, Secret with two E's, and was the fifth hostile mob to be added to the lands of Minecraftia. The slime, as mentioned previously, comes in three different sizes, tiny, small, and big. Where's medium, you ask? In the world of the slime, it's either go big or go home. Big and small slimes have the ability to deal damage on direct impact. Tiny slimes just like to hug your shins and are capable of dealing damage. This makes them a great pet for Minecrafters alike. They're also a good conversational piece. The first notable sign that a slime is nearby is the telltale wet slapping sound as the cute little jello bodies plop against the ground as they hop around without a care in the world. That's until you find them and cut them up into tiny bite-sized pieces and collect their slime balls. Balls? No silly, slime balls. Not that kind. This kind. Slime balls are dropped from tiny slimes upon death and are used as an ingredient for sticky pistons and magma cream. Big slimes, on the other hand, break into small slimes, while small slimes break into tiny slimes. Aw, you like collecting slime balls, you say? Kinda weird, but no worries. I won't judge you. Slimes can be found from level 40 down and need a large open area to spawn. Curious as what makes them tick? Me either. Anyway guys, this has been Sage aka Basilflakes and Pressed Off for Awesome. Thanks for watching Behind the Blocks, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And what mob should I do next time? Peace guys.